Hi guys, what's up? This video is going to be all about how to get up onto a horse and how to get back down using a mountain block or just straight off the ground. First of all, make sure you have your helmet and back protector on and then just quickly check the horse's saddle and bridle to make sure no straps or anything like that are broken and to make sure the tack fits the horse properly. Undo the throat lash and then untwist the reins. After that you can adjust the stirrups roughly so then when you get onto the horse you don't have to make any major adjustments with the stirrups. And then you can check the girt. You should be able to fit four fingers in between the horse and the girt and if there's more space you need to tighten the girt. And if you can't fit a few fingers into the girt it should be loosened. Putting the girt too tight can stop the horse's circulation and leaving the girt too loose can cause the saddle to slip off the horse. If you are using a mountain block lead the horse up as close as you can to the block and then move the block up to the horse. Keep in mind that not all horses will stand at a block. If someone is helping you do not get on the block until they have moved the horse close enough to the block. When you're getting up on a horse get up from the near side which is the left hand side of the horse. So gather the reins in your hands, go up the block, put your hands onto the saddle and swing your right leg over the horse and land gently in the saddle. Do not hit or touch off the horse with your foot. They can get a fright or spook and just don't cause unnecessary discomfort to your horse please. When you're up, you can organize the reins and put your feet in the stirrups. Adjust the stirrups more if necessary Check again if the girt is tight enough. To dismount, stop the horse right beside the block. Lean forward and swing your right foot around. When you are getting up off the ground, it is really, really important to make sure the girt is tight enough. If the girt is loose, when you go to get up the saddle will slip down towards the horse's belly and the horse can get a huge fright. Always gather the reins up in your hands before you get up, even if someone else is holding the horse, just in case the horse decides to walk away while you're getting up. The horse can still move away, spook or take off at any time so you have to be ready for that even during the process of getting on and off. Bend your knee and put your left foot in the stirrup iron. Swing your right leg over the horse's back, landing as gently as possible and making sure not to hit the horse with your foot. The same thing goes for when you are getting on a bigger horse. You shouldn't get on your horse off the ground every single time you ride because it can cause discomfort to the horse, but this is not an excuse of why you should not be able to get up from the ground. Everybody who rides should be able to get up off the ground. One day you will definitely be in a situation where you will have to get up off the ground. Whether that is you have a horse that won't stand at the block or you've fallen off at the beach or somewhere else and the only way is to get back up on the horse off the ground. Getting up and getting off a horse does take practice. What you can do is practice getting on and off a fence this way. To dismount, make sure both of your feet are completely out of the stirrups. If your foot is still in a stirrup and you try to get off, your foot will stay in the stirrup and your head and your body will fall towards the ground. Swing your right leg over the saddle and land on both feet at the same time. If you don't land on both feet, you'll probably fall over. Another thing that happens is sometimes the body protector gets caught on the stirrups and causes people to fall back when they land. When you are coming off just turn your body to the side a little bit so this doesn't happen. Another way to get off is the Xena dismount which is where you bring your right foot over the horse's neck and slide down on both feet making sure you don't hit your foot off the horse's neck. After you've gotten off make sure to twist the reins and to put the stirrups up. Make sure to hit subscribe if you want to see more videos about Sophie, horse riding and all the other crazy things that I get up to.